First to Brittany, who has new information about the suspect. Yeah, so we are out front of the union right now. This is the second building that Anthony McRae walked into and started shooting tragically last night. Uh, as you mentioned, police say he has no ties to MSU. They have essentially zero idea of what his motive could have been. We do know that McRae had three convictions in Michigan. The most serious was in 2019. He pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor weapons charge. Now, McRae's father, Michael, spoke with NBC News earlier today saying he learned of the shooting when a a swarm of FBI and police officers arrived at his house last night. He stated his son had no history of violence, but that he struggled to cope with his mother's death in 2020. His father said, quote, he was grieving his mom. He wouldn't wouldn't let it go. He got bitter and bitter and bitter. His mom died and he just started getting evil and mean. He didn't care about anything anymore. Police searched for more than three hours before finding McRae, saying it was thanks to a caller tip that came in just minutes after they released the a surveillance photo of him along with a description. We would like to sincerely thank our community for their help. Because of our quick release of the, photo, the photograph from the campus security cameras and the help from our community, it was a caller's tip that led law enforcement to that suspect in the city of Lansing. It's part of our investigation today is to look at the, the suspect, his background, his history. Uh, those are things that are occurring with our state and federal partners. Yeah, and there are several crime scenes that police will have to comb through as they continue their investigation. In addition to Berkey and uh, the MSU Union, they'll also there was also a house where they conducted a, a search warrant that's connected to that suspect. Uh, in addition to another crime scene in Lansing that was approximately five miles from campus where the shooter was confronted by police before he took his own life. Uh, still waiting for more details from police as to what transpired up to that point. For now, live in East Lansing, I'm Brittany Flowers. Worst news eight.